Listen, my house is now turned into the freaking Conjuring, and I'm not a fan. I'm a fan of the Conjuring. I'm not a fan of my house being the Conjuring. Hi, welcome back. So I've done a couple of videos on this, mostly on Instagram for Instagram Reels and on TikTok, which if you don't follow me, hello. But I've never done a full, as far as I recall, I have never done a full-fledged video talking about the actual sounds that now scare me ever since I've gotten these hearing aids. I, I've had them for practically a year at this point. Uh, let me tell you the first time that I started hearing things that I never thought made noise. Actually, I know from a scientific standpoint that everything makes noise. Blinking makes a noise. When you never heard it or you just don't remember because it's been so long and then you hear it, mm, that's something, that's something. Probably the scariest thing that we could start off with is the washing machine that I knew and I could sort of hear the vibrating, you know, when I would open the door and I'd be right at the washing machine and it's going, you know, that I could hear. Or, or maybe it was just feeling it and maybe thinking I could hear. I don't know. Regardless, but having the actual hearing aids in and the first laundry load that started ever since, I realized that my machine shrieks. <laughs> and see, I can't hear high pitches very well um, without the hearing aids. I never really could as far back as I can remember. It was always deeper tones for me that worked. But it shrieks. And I fully thought, I genuinely thought, that my machine was broken, which brought on a whole new level of stress. But as it turns out, it just makes that noise. It eventually stops, I think. I don't remember actually now. I would try to stop my washing machine. I would attempt to unplug it. I can't reach it, so that option was out. It just made this awful, awful tricky noise that scared me. And then I eventually figured it out by the second load that that's just what it does. It's just simply what it does and I don't need to go and buy. Nobody needs to go out and buy a new washing machine which is great because that those things are not cheap and since this one keeps interrupting the videos by screaming obviously i know cats meow i know simon meows if you follow me during my twitch days he would always show up on stream just shrieking uh i never realized until now how much of a screaming demon he sounds like i love you I love you. You're like you're like a son to my little deaf demon Bob, but holy crap. Why do you sound like you're in agony all the time and why do you sound like I'm starving you to death, which I am not. Again, you were just fed, that's why you're cleaning yourself now, but here you are just screaming. Zane never meows, he, like never. He's broken, I guess. He only makes a noise when you hold him and then he's tired of it, so he growls at you a little bit. But Simon just shrieking. Should I make merch of Simon screaming? I think that would be hilarious. Remember when I mentioned the conjuring? Yeah, I did not know refrigerators buzzed or hummed or whatever it is that they do. Doesn't do it all the time. A couple of times an hour, something like that. I don't know. I don't stand near the refrigerator that long to notice how often it does. It, it does a little humming thing, like some sort of ghost is just floating around. Annabelle, what are you doing? Actually, Annabelle's terrible. Annabelle would suck on her own because she needs somebody to do her work for her and help her out. Annabelle itself is not a problem. But still, Annabelle, what are you doing? It's the nun that I would be more worried about. Speaking of which, I'm gonna have a horror channel eventually, so I'll let you know about that later. I'm not rushing it. I'm trying to prep for it ahead of time. Like, well. Another thing, driving and the road and cars. Yes, deaf people can drive. I know people are still surprised by this in 2022, but deaf people can drive. And you know what? There's a reason we're better at it than you all. Stats said it, stats said it, statistics said it. It's in the papers, but I don't like to sound on the road. I don't like knowing the random noises on my car because now I'm thinking everything, every noise it makes now is telling me that my check engine light's gonna come on soon. I don't like the roads. They're too freaking loud. And now I do actually like to listen to the music with my hearing aids in because otherwise I have to put it max volume and then everyone else hears it and starts staring at me. The problem is listening to it with hearing aids and I don't mean directly streaming into my ears. I do that at home and things like that. But when I'm actually out and driving, I would just have it go through the car speakers and that's only at, at max. It's, it's still turned up a little bit more, but it's not at the very max level. But the unfortunate thing is, hey, Yes, I can listen to the music and I, I'm hearing things that I never heard before and songs that I listened to before, but the road. I also very much hear the road and I don't like that. Whereas if I just had the music all the way up at max volume, which isn't really good for the speakers, I get that. But alas, I wouldn't hear the random sounds. And now people are be thinking, well, you need to hear the sirens and things like that. No, I don't. No, I don't. I can see it just fine. There's never been a real difference other than me being curious and wanting to be like, oh, let me roll down my window and hear what they sound like as they go by. But I, I, 
I've had sirens, I've had ambulances and fire trucks and whatever go past me before and after the hearing aids. They don't make a difference because I always see them. So there's that. The squeaking when it comes to furniture. Now I know why everybody keeps telling me to oil uh, my chair. You know, back when I was streaming the chair that I got, it just squeaks. It squeaks horribly. That sound doesn't really scare me. It's just very annoying. What does seem to uh, frighten me from time to time is when I'm walking on the floors and there's some specific areas of the floors that squeak. And I knew they were squeaking anyways before hearing aids because I can feel, you know, I can feel that. But there's something about hearing it that just makes me more paranoid that a, a hole is gonna come through and then I'm gonna fall to the first floor, which is which would still be my home because this is a two story, but. Not exactly something that I, I really like, though. <laughs> not, not really. Horror movies might actually scare me just a little tidbit now. Actually, I feel like it's a toss-up. Horror movies without sound are frightening because if you're a deaf person in a horror film, living a horror film in real life, not being able to hear when somebody's coming at you would be a little bit frightening because you can't always use your eyeballs for things. Like if it's dark, right? It makes it a little bit harder to use your eyes. But one of the upsides was that I wouldn't be able to hear the creepy sounds and screaming and whatever else. But now I can when I'm streaming it into my hearing aids. And um, hmm. now I sometimes get a little bit more uneasy um, watching some films. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna be rewatching um, Gonjiam the haunted asylum with my friend Kayla uh, when we're hanging out again when I'm back in Omaha. That was the one movie that really scared me to tears <laughs> and I don't want to go to sleep. But I watched, I watched it with headphones in or on rather and so I heard a little bit of it and that part of why it freaked me out so much. But now we're going full-fledged, going to be hearing this one particular part that I hate. I can't believe I suggested this. I told her I would rewatch it. She's never seen it. I told her I would rewatch it if we watched it together. And I'm gonna be watch. I'm gonna be watching it with my hearing aids in, cause obviously she's a hearing person, right? They're a hearing person, so I, I wear my hearing aids around them. <sighs> gonna, gonna gonna be reliving that um with full hearing, quote unquote. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also very much not looking forward to it, cause that's gonna be the one thing that's gonna petrify me. The one not real life, quote quote, uh, sound that's going to scare the crap out of me. I'm I'm already like. I'm just thinking about it. Is there anything else that I can think of? It's mostly just, I don't do a whole lot, right? So it's really the same sounds over and over and over. Yeah, no, if I really have to think about the one, the couple of things that really do petrify me. I mean, now I'm used to it, whatever, but when, when they first started coming up, the driving, the roads, the washing machine, and my conjuring fridge. And of course, if anybody's like dropping, like if I'm at a restaurant or a coffee shop and people are dropping things, you know, that gives you the sudden startle, but that's like, normal for everyone right i'm gonna be getting these readjusted next week again because my first readjustment did not work as well as i thought that it would i do have a video on that if you want to go check that out so we're gonna see what these get adjusted to again and see if there's anything else that's going to weird me out or frighten me because who knows with the first readjustment i started hearing things that i never could before for the whole almost a whole year an entire year but now let's see if anything else happens if anything's different and new second time around so my fellow hearing aid users let me know in the comments below when you first got your hearing aids what scared you narrow it narrow it down to a cup to the few that really, really petrified you when you first heard them, either for the first time ever or again, whatever. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for making it this far. If you did, if you would like to support my content further, you have two options. There's Patreon, which the link will be down below. You get lots of exclusive content. There's also a super thanks button down here where you can leave a little tip. There is actually also a third option of being a channel member, which is also somewhere down here below with the join button. So you get an extra video every month or every other month with that if you would like. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you again for watching this video and I will, ow, see you later.